The first step in actually planning out the BCP is to look at the impact on your business of an interruption. So the business impact analysis is the step that identifies critical resources and the threats to those critical resources. So the first step is establish your business priorities. What's most important? Biggest business impact is the top priority. In other words, what does our business actually do? What are a list of the prioritized processes that our business is engaged in? And look at the most critical one, put it at the top of the list. This is the most important process that we must be able to protect, is the first step. Next step is risk assessment. Identify and categorize risks. When you identify all the risks that can threaten each one of your business priorities or your business processes, you want to identify the threats and then categorize them. Big threat, medium threat, and little threat. Try to quantify as much as possible. We can use qualitative risk analysis to say this is a huge threat, this is not such a big a threat, this is a negligible threat. But the more we can quantify, if this particular threat occurs, we're going to lose $100,000 per day as opposed to a loss of $10,000 per day. That gives us the quantity that we can really work with. So quantify as much as you possibly can. Then look at alternative means. This is where you have to step back and think out of the box. In case of a business interruption, can you do it a different way? It may be very possible, depending on your business, that if you have a major failure of electrical power, can you still do your business using pen and paper? Ask yourself that question. You might be surprised by the answer. The answer may be definitely no, but the answer may be, well, yeah, for a short period of time, we can use pen and paper. If so, that's a pretty cheap continuity plan. Always consider every option whenever you possibly can.